Yeah, hello, my name is Christian Wolter from Trade Wolter. And after now, um, the migration of many of IB UK accounts um, from European Union citizens are almost done. I want to give you some overview what normally happens and um, yeah, depending uh, with which um, yeah, IB entity you may be working together, um, also what are the consequences um, for them and what are the opportunities at the end um, for your account. It's um, necessary if you go to your client portal and you didn't do this um, in the beginning to agree here to the um, um, yeah, migration from IB UK to um, any other entity. Um, most of the clients they will, I think, be transferred to IB Ireland, but it will be written here in this uh, notification to which um, entity you might be um, migrated. So that's the first thing. If you don't accept this, um, then you might be able to only do closing actions. Normally the date was the 31st of January where everyone should accept it, but as everything was delayed, I think um, IB will extend this for a while. Um, the final um, consequences can be, if you don't accept it, they will close your positions and transfer your money back to your um, bank account. So this is the first important thing um, to accept this um, migration proposal. Um, of course, you can also do this later or um, in this case, um, don't agree to it. But um, like I said, then you will be not able to um, trade here. Yeah, after this, you have to agree to all the um, information again also financial information you have to um, double check um, if there's any change um, yeah it's also important to know that some permissions uh, might change this is another thing from ib uk that um, in the europe union it might have some higher regulations for um, trading and for permission, especially for option trading. That's why they ask all this um, confirmation here again. And um, yeah, after you did everything, you should also have a confirmation sent by IB um, that your account is migrated. Um, but first of all, you have to accept this uh, information. Then the second step, you will um, get the information from IB related um, to if the process is done or not. And the last thing, what will happen is at the end uh, that your account number will change and there are also a few other things um, what you need to um, accept. So if, um, you can see it also at the end in your statements. If you print your statements, you will see if it's IB UK, if it's IB Ireland already, or also if you're working with an um, introducing broker, you will also see the, see the same. Um, if you are still with the introducing broker or not. Um, in this case, if you delink your account, for example, you can always see it in your statements. Um, if you are still um, a client of, let's say, CapTrader, Lynx, TradeStation, whatever, or directly with um, IB. And the other thing is that you will also see it in your account number, which will be changed. Um, what will happen after the migration or when the, in the night or the day when it's done? All your open orders uh, will be cancelled, so also make sure if you have any open orders, might be a stop order or a target order for a position, this will be um, cancelled and you have to place it um, new on the, in the next day. It's the same like with delinking or linking accounts. Uh, let's say you are with um, CapTrader, you want to go back to IB. Uh, with the delinkage, all orders will be cancelled because even the commission between the introducing brokers can change. So existing orders will always be cancelled by linking or delinking accounts. Same here with the migration. What is um, also important to check the permission. Um, some permission um, you already had, you have to apply after the migration, maybe new, mainly margin or option permission. And the last thing, after the migration, you have to double check your paper trading login. You might be also um, set this um, username or um, password new. Uh, as we realized with many clients that this um, was also changing. And now on the last thing I want to tell you a few 
things about um, our clients or clients who are working with freight station now in the Euro Union. With freight station, we have the following um, situation. We have um, the trade station global subscription agreement will be automatically displayed after you log into your client portal. Because what happened with Brexit, um, after Brexit or with the migration, you're not an um, official client of trade station global because they don't have the license for the UK. That's why trade station is now a subscription fee. Here, the subscription or cost $15 per month when you want to use the, um, the platform. Um, the good thing is you will not have any inactivity fee um, of $10 if you are, for example, a direct um, IB client. For January, uh, this will be definitely skipped because um, yeah, January was um, the whole process of the migration itself. But still, the first important thing is here to um, check this box to continue. And then in the next step, you can go to um, the user settings where you can, for example, um, add these, um, these information. I will also change the language here to English. So you go to settings and um, then user settings. There where you have your market data subscription fee um, or like or every information related to the market data, you will be here market data subscriptions and research subscriptions. So in the research subscriptions, after you confirm everything, you will have an overview here of the trade station. Just click to this um, small icon um, and there you can um, unsubscribe the trade station if you don't want to have it. Uh, but this is really important to um, first agree to the terms and conditions and then if you don't want to have it uh, unsubscribe here if you don't agree to the terms and conditions the first step um, yeah, that will be an issue for your account what will be um, yeah i think um, not so nice so always try to do this in the following um, steps um, it's also important after you unsubscribe you're not able to subscribe again in few cases we can try to connect it again um, but just make sure that you really don't use this platform and you don't want to work with this platform then you can um, yeah, subscribe or unsubscribe here and um, this will be also um, like a delinkage at the end but like I said at the moment as there's no license in the UK um, you're already a direct IB client um, you will just have here to unsubscribe to this um, research data of trade station and after this is done the first time you are not able to subscribe again